welcome back to my channel and today we are located at VW King VW of Gatesburg because guess what we are reviewing today a 2021 uh, VW Atlas Crossport this one also comes with that premium and it also has the R-Line package this is basically the fully loaded package you can get on this 2021 VW Atlas Crossport and when we walk up you have a big VW logo and I like the grill. It's the car is the whole car is like really brutal and it's really unique. It has like lines, like really cool lines on the sides and like on the hood that no other car like matches it. And then I like how there's like chrome over here. And as we drop down, there's a camera because there's a button in this car where you press it's a 360 camera. It shows all the cameras around the car. It's really nice. And then we have a R logo and they changed the R logo. It's now like this. They, it used to be different. The R logo for the R line packages that come on the VW. And then over here you have your LED headlights. It says IQ light. See? And then we drop down. This is actually functional over here. The vents. More sensors on the front. Both the corners have the sensors. And then over here, just more sensors because of that D360. And there's a button where you press and you put it in reverse and you turn on the signal which way you want to park. And the car parks itself. It's really nice more sensors and as we move to the side over here we have some nice 21 inch wheels i like this gray color and then the vw logo right there in the middle and i i like the fender the lines over here on the fender see and also the lines on the hood they're really nice see there's like two over here and then one that goes over there and this 2021 vw atlas crossport i'm in love with it it's really cool all, with all the features it comes around like fifty thousand dollars I mean, it's really worth it. When you go to the interior and I'll show you the all the features. Yeah, it's really worth it. Crossboard over here. And then the, the mirrors are functional and they're also heated. Blind spot monitor right there. And there's also a LED turn signal integrated. Also a little camera. There's cameras everywhere. Sensor right there. And then look, I have the key in my pocket. Let me show you guys. And thanks to... Oh, <laughs> that was loud. And thanks to uh, King King VW of Gatesburg for letting us review this car. Here, look at this key. We have lock, and then open the tailgate. Double tap for the for to do the remote starter, and then also the unlock. It's uh, the one bad thing is it's a cheap plastic. I wish they would put like metal over here and also on the bottom. See if I want to do the remote starter. Look, when I press lock, the mirrors fold. And look, there's also that LED in there. Look, one we can lock and then just double tap this. And then 3.6 liter V6, we can hear that. To turn it off, press it once and it'll turn off. And when we come close and press unlock, and we do this, see the mirrors? They fold out. And look, let me lock it. When we walk up and the key is in our pocket, it's near us. And we do this, just like Acura as it opens. And then the the on 2021s the VWs they started to make really uh, nice cars they're really gorgeous cars and they're trying to get into a competition with like with like a Honda and Toyota I think this is probably better than a Honda Passport and this is an Atlas Crossport there's a base Atlas and that's the only Atlas that comes that you can get a third row this one on the Crossport you can't get a third row it only comes with the second row. And then look, and then we can also lock it like this. There's a like sensor and it'll fold. We have Volkswagen sticker right here. And then I like the black over here. It's gloss black. And then as we move to the back, this, this chrome piece from the front, it comes all the way to the back. And then as we move, look at those taillights, IQ light. Look at those. There's, it literally says R, see over here for the R line. Like. It's really nice. The taillights are just gorgeous. They're so good. And then over here, just another uh, VW logo and then Atlas. And then this is the washer. I, 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 I wish they would put it up there. It's just ugly. <laughs> it's just a little ugly when they, it's just in the middle of here. You have your third brake light up there. And then the lower is really nice. See, I like how it's lost black, but the top is color matched. KingAuto.com, Gatesburg, Maryland. That's where we're borrowing this car from today. And then uh, the one bad thing is this one is actually a competitor with the Audi Q8. And like they both have fake exhausts. Why? Why would you do it? Just make it real. Make it cooler. I don't know. 
but it's chrome even if it doesn't have it the over here sensor sensor <laughs> four motion that means all wheel drive that's what four motion basically means and this is like the fully loaded there's a se but this is a sel we have to get that fully loaded see v6 and then we can actually open it there's a camera and then there's a light and then there's a button and another light let's press that button to open it when we open it as i said there's only a, a second row 40 cubic feet back here in the common space this Volkswagen cargo protection system. This, all these come with the Volkswagen. Like here, you have your floor mats. It's a big bag, and all your here cargo blocks. These are all just like the goodies that come with this car. And then there's like, if you want to go grocery shopping, you just put the latches on there. And then there's more latches over here. Let's do that. There's a light over there. Let's do that. Look, one cool thing is when we open this, there's more space. It's actually, this is the spare tire. There's a literal subwoofer down here. It says Fender because that's the audio. Also in the interior. Look, there's a whole subwoofer. It, 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 it's, they fit it so good, like in the top, in the middle of the spare tire. And then there's also a button up here. And there's, you can also pull it. Let's actually do it on the key. I can't even reach it. Let's see. Oh, wait, you can't. Let's do this. There we go. <laughs> I always think I'm too short to touch it, but I actually jumped into it this time. Let's actually go and see what's powering this car. Put more hand. That feature is so cool. I love the cars that when you go up, the key is close to you. Just do that and it opens. You don't need to take out the key. Your hands are freezing. <laughs> and then you just unlock it. It's really cool. You can open it like this. Let's see. Oh, I might need to put you guys over here. Ooh, Honda Civic. Okay, let's see. So the engine on this 2021 VW Atlas Crossport, look what we have. We have a 3.6 liter V6 producing 276 horsepower, 266 pound-feet of torque. There, the, there's this engine and there's also a two liter, two liter V4, and that one produces 235 horsepower. See, it, it says V6 and there's a VW logo. Zero to 60 is not that bad and not too good. 7.1 seconds, I mean for this 4,000 4, uh, pound beast. It's basically like, yeah, it's 4,000 pounds, it's a lot, but it can tow 5,000 pounds and there was a tow hitch in the back. And then we can actually close it. And one more thing, MPGs are 17 in the city, 23 in the highway, which is, I mean, not too good, but, and yeah, see the little camera. Oh my God, I'm freezing. Let's go into the interior, please. Turn on the steering wheel. I'll show you guys all the features. Over here, when we open up the door, you guys have to go and subscribe and know what we'll do because why not? Just why not? It's free. You just go. And whenever you want, you can just unsubscribe. But why do it? You can turn on post notifications. So every Friday when I upload, I upload on Friday. From Tuesdays, I change it to Friday. And you guys can just see every one of my videos. Over here, you have some. It's They're not. Remember when I reviewed the 2009, 2000 and oh, was it a 20 or 19? The Jetta over here, they tried to make it look like it was carbon fiber, but this one is not. This one is like, see? It's really cool material. It's just a little bit of cheap plastic though. You have your door handle and then fender audio in this car. Unlock lock. And then over here, you also have, you already know, so the people in the back can open it. Window controls. This, when you press this, um, this is, if you want to do this, you can control the mirrors, but it's not going to work because the car is not on right now. Over here you have oh, the the sill over here. The It's actually polished aluminum before we step in. This is how you control the seats. The one bad thing is for the passenger on this 2021 Atlas Crossport, the, it's not like this. It's it, you have to, it's like manually. You have to pull the latch and everything like old school. And over here, one, two, three, memory seats. It's called Titan Black, the color of the seats. It's actually two-tone, see? Over here, it's like this grayish. Over here, the Titan Black seats. I like the colors too. And then one more thing over here is the light controls before we step in. And when we close the door, look at the, there's gonna be a, oh, what is it called? An animation over here. Oh no, that's when you leave the car, there's an animation. Adaptive cruise controls. This whole thing is actually 
it's the whole thing is digital it's a little bit small but i mean it's digital so what what more can you get from that over here you have rpm speedometer see over here it shows the time it shows what mode how hot it is outside but it's not hot right now and then you can actually control what is on the screen left side of the steering wheel controls the auto cruise control big nice volkswagen logo i like how it's like flat underneath more of that r line badging <clears throat> and then i like the it's white stitchings but the steering wheel is black and i like how it's covered in leather it's really comfortable here look there's heat, heat, uh, steering wheel heating and then this is how you control the the uh, what you, what it shows in the middle part let's wait for that you can get the oh you can get the navigation which is really nice see if i press okay it's gonna show in the middle of the navigation we can go over here to the radio telephone vehicle status and then we can also go to driving data assist systems and if we go back to navigation the car only has 10 miles and this car it has a it has a four year 50,000 mile a four four year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper bumper to bumper warranty which is a really good warranty on this car and then over here your hands free link let's turn on the radio this is how you put put up the the, the what channel you're on see so you can change the channels and then when we move on to the screen over here this is actually an aid in screen radio media phone voice navigation app car menu you see that little hand there you see that little hand it has gesture audio look when i do this with my hand it's gonna change see it says channel 44 i think it's see look it changed it did you see look see it's on 7 8 9 10 11 12 look if I do this with my hand, sometimes it does. See? 13, 14, 15, 16. And then if I do it again, it's gonna. It's supposed to do it again. See? It's so cool how it just changes. And then over here, you have this is the climbing controls. See? This is this is for your heated seats. Passenger and driver have heated and ventilated seats. See, those are the features. I mean, this car has so many features. At 50000 it's really worth it for the price. You're getting everything you need for the price. A off. Passenger airbag, it shows. And then when we go over here to car, see, it shows how many miles. Long term. And we can actually do this with our hand again. See, it says since start. We can change that to... Sometimes it glitches and doesn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> and then over here, we drop down, as I said, all the climbing controls. And then over here, we have our shifter. Press brake all the way. Put it into reverse. Backup camera. See? Trajectory also. Put it back into park. Over here, you have just your shifter. I like the shifter. It's leather. And there's a button. When you want to pull it, you have to press that button and then pull it. Start engine and stop. I think all the VWs, it's right next to the shifter, the start stop button. And then you have your automatic parking brake. And then you have this seat, it's the 360. Look at this. It shows everything. 360, look, 3D. Oh my God, that is nice. And then we can go back. Let's press that again. Look, well, wherever you want to press, we press here. It brings the front. We can go back. Let's press the side. It'll show the side and then we can do this. We can make it so it's a full screen. Let's just go back. And this is the one I was telling you guys when I was outside. See this, when you press, it says, please turn, <laughs> please turn on signal and shift into reverse. If I put the signal and then put it in reverse, I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm a little kid. I need a couple more years and then I can, and then I can drive the cars and I'll put it in reverse and I'll <laughs> do all the, those features. And then over here you have the modes driving mode snow selection eco normal sport and custom over here you have auto and custom let's put it into sport oh let's do custom adjust steering sport drivetrain sport acc sport light assist sport climate control normal and not reset everything is on sport right now and, and then that's when you're going to feel that 276 horsepower. I mean, for a 3.6 meter, they should have made it a little bit more. I mean, it's a little. 
two USB Type C's, 12 volt right here. Over there. You have your glove box here. You can actually put your SD cards over here. See, it's a little pocket. And they took out the, when you could, the, what was it called? The CD player, they took it out. And it's just, I don't know. It's just like, it's just plastic over there. They put more of that trim over here. Polished aluminum. You have a little tray. And then over here, as I said, Fender Audio. That's more of that speakers up there. See over here, you have the backup mirror. And it's it's a uh, digital on this part. It shows the compass. And then look at that panoramic sunroof. All the way goes to the back. Look, you can paint, push this for maintenance if you're on the road. That's like roadside assistance. We can actually open the whole thing. No, no, that's the shade. We can open this thing. So nice. I love when cars have panoramic centers. See, that's all it opens. It doesn't open all the way. I wish it did. And then this is so the people in the back can open their door. It's actually the controls from here. Over here, you have your lights. Turn that on. Turn that on. And then the rear lights. See? Let's press it again. Where is it? Okay, and then now we need to go to the back and see what we have, so let's go. Let's go see how much space we have back here. I'm gonna think it's gonna be a lot because look how much space we can already see. Oh my God. Before we step in, Fender Audio, more of that. We have a sunshade back here. See? It's really nice, both sides. And then step in. Look at this space. What is this? Look at that. Look how I put two feet of space here. And my headroom. Look at that. So much. Probably another like two or three feet up there. You have your um, heated seats in the back. Oh, I, I can't do it on this side because when I press that, the people in the back can't do it because you can only control from the front. See? And then over here, you have two USB-C Type-C's. And when you push this, it's a 115 volt right there. Like the ones you have at home, 150 watt. Okay, and then we have uh, the sticker over here, see? See, Titan Black and Quartz Leather Interior. See the final price over here? Where's the final price? 51,980, as I said, like almost 50,000. And as I said, it has that four year, 50,000 warranty. Bumper to bumper. That's really good. All the VWs on 2021 have that warranty. Let's close this door. So guys, that's gonna be all from this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Smash that like button and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss another one of my videos.